What's up, y'all? I have an eye open story to tell y'all. I hope this story will open your eyes to a point that y'all take it seriously spiritually. So, as let's get straight into it. In the summer, my sister had a, a sleepover. She invited all the little ones, all the the younger cousins or the younger family members to her house. And it was deep to the front, to the back, to the back, to the front. However you take it, it was a lot of children. And my parents came out of town because they had something to do. And this particular day, they woke up early in the morning to get groceries, uh, to make breakfast for everybody. Oh, my dad, to get the groceries, to make breakfast for everybody. So, everybody was asleep. We was in a deep slump on time. Knocked out. We was all, like, asleep. I don't know how that could... Yeah, <laughs> we were all asleep. And then out of all people, my dad called me. Out of everyone. He called my sister, my cousin. You no, know, but he called me out of everyone. He said, get Sean. Go wake, uh, go wake everybody up and tell them get ready because we're going to go to my grandpa's house and supposedly do something for them. So I was like, I got you. Even though I didn't want to do it because I was tired too. And I was sleep late. And I was like, you know, I don't know why he, I don't know, I don't know why he called me. But you know, I'm still do it because like, it's my father, my dad. And I still, I still do what he told me. I, I still did what he told me. So long story short, I got together brush my teeth and then I went straight to my cousin that was in the front. I woke him up because I know he was gonna be a beneficial help to me in doing the process of waking everybody up. Take the load off. So he woke the people, he tried to wake the people up that was in the front and I tried to wake the people that was in the back. My sister part part partially woke up, not really she was like a limbo type state. So my dad came so like so like when my mom and dad came back from the grocery store, I had the grocery in the bag, knocked on the door, bang, bang, bang. Then, and after that, my dad came in. He wasn't really upset, but at the same time, he was kind of like, like surprised. He was like, why none of y'all didn't, like, why, like, why I only got three people that's awake, or two people that's awake? And, and I, I was, I was considered after three people. So my dad was like, what, what's going on? Why are y'all still asleep? And the whole point is, the more the story is like, when it comes to the Bible, and Jesus Christ said, do must be spiritually awake because if we sleep, God will come as a thief of night and take us off of God. So if we sleep, we are all we are of the world. So if we're awake, we're doing the things of, the, of God. So if we constantly plant seeds and uh, brothers and sisters congregate together, bring the kingdom of God to everyone, that the world is lost, God will be promoted while glory goes to Him. So I hope like y'all take this seriously because the Lord is coming soon, and we need to be fired up in the last days. God bless.